today, I'm going to show you how to interact with MongoDB without ever leaving VS Code. We're going to be using MongoDB Playgrounds to prototype aggregations and queries, all while getting IntelliSense from within your editor. All you need to get started is a MongoDB connection string and the MongoDB for VS Code extension. So I'm going to start from scratch and create my database, and I'm going to use Azure to host it. I have the Azure Tools extension installed, which gives me the Azure Database extension. I can now quickly create an Azure Cosmos DB for the MongoDB API, which essentially lets you use Azure Cosmos DB as if it were a MongoDB database. I'm already signed into my Azure subscription, so I'll just type in the command palette, Azure Database, create new server. We will then select the Azure Cosmos DB for MongoDB API option. We'll give it a name. I'm going to give it Playgrounds select a capacity model and select a resource group. And I'm going to create a new resource group named Playgrounds, select a location, and we'll give that just a few minutes to get spun up. Now that we have that database created, we can dive into the MongoDB for VS Code extension, which can be found in the extension marketplace by searching for MongoDB. Once you have this extension installed, you'll get this MongoDB icon in your sidebar. And if we click on that, we see here that it prompts me to add a connection. We're just going to use the connect with a connection string option. So I'm going to head over to the Azure blade to copy the connection string. I'm going to right click on that playgrounds DB that we created and select copy connection string. I'll paste it into the connection string prompt and now we're properly connected. If we go back to the MongoDB blade, we can see that we have this new connection. Now I'm going to use MongoDB Playgrounds to add a new collection to this database. In your playground, you need to specify what database you're using. So I'm doing that with this use playground statement. So I'm going to create my collection by using the insert method, which will automatically create the collection if it does not exist and then insert the documents. So I want my collection to be called students and I'm going to do db.students.insertMany. And then I have this test data already set up that I want to have in my collection. The data includes a student's ID, the section of the course that they are in, the grade that they got on the most recent exam, and their current GPA. I can then hit this play button and that will run the playground. And we can see the result of our playground run here and it successfully inserted these 30 documents. And now in the MongoDB sidebar, we can expand the playground's connection and see that our database has a new collection with 30 documents in it. Now that I have this collection created, I'm going to create a new playground and take a look at some of the other CRUD operations I can use. To read, I would use the find method. So let's say I want to look up the details of the student with the ID 8. I would do db.students and notice the IntelliSense that pops up as I do that dot find. And I'm going to use the find one method because I just want the single document. And I'm just going to specify that I want to find the student with the ID 8. And if we run this playground, we can see that I get the document back for the student with ID 8. So student 8 actually did some extra credit and I want to update their grade from an 88 to a 90. So to do that, I'm actually going to change this find one method to find one and update so that we can do it all in one step. And then I'll just add my set grade to 90 clause to it. And after running that, we can see that the student's grade has been updated to 90. And I can also delete documents. So for instance, if student 16 dropped my class, I'd want to delete them from my data set. If we take a look in the MongoDB side panel, we can see that student 16 currently exists in our collection. So I'm going to type db.students.delete1 and specify that I want to drop the student with ID 16. And so far I've been running the entire script by clicking the play button, but I can also choose to run just the selected lines. So I'm going to do that for this delete statement, but I need to make sure that my selected lines include the use statement so that the playground knows which database we are querying against. Once I have those lines selected, I can open the command palette and type MongoDB run selected lines. And we can see that the document with ID 16 is no longer available in our collection. The last thing I wanna show you is something called aggregation pipelines. Aggregation pipelines process documents through stages where each stage performs an operation on the documents. So I'm going to use aggregation pipelines to calculate some averages on our collection. For example, if I want to see what the average was for each section, I could do this aggregation here. And what this is doing is in this first stage, it's filtering out the data to only include students in section A. Then in the second stage, it's taking that filtered data from stage one and then performing an average calculation on the grade field. So if we run this, section A had an average of about 78, section B had an average of 71, 
and section C also had an average of about 78. So section B had almost a whole letter grade difference in those averages. Next, I wanna see if there's a correlation between each student's GPA and how they performed on this exam. So we can update this query to match based on GPAs less than 3.0, and we can see that the average there was 65. And if we change the operator to be greater than 3.0, the average jumps to 82. So we can see that there does seem to be a correlation in higher exam scores for students with higher GPAs. The MongoDB for VS Code extension lets you seamlessly interact with your database, benefiting from rich IntelliSense while prototyping queries and aggregations. If you wanna try out MongoDB for the first time, it's quick and easy to create a new database using Azure Cosmos DB for the MongoDB API. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for all things VS Code. Happy coding!